All right, what's going on, guys? It's Mighty Manotaur, back with some more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. And today we're looking at the N7 Destroyer soldier class. Um, he's a huge badass. I have mine green with black because I want him to look like Master Chief. So his name's John117. <laughs> I, like, honestly don't even care about the Halo universe at all, but for whatever reason, it just, I don't know, it just made sense. So anyway, this is the character. He's a soldier class. Um... I spec him in kind of a weird way. Let's take a look and I'll kind of explain it to you guys. So Devastator Mode is his kind of, his special power. It's a special uh, mode that you put him in that kind of makes it really hard to see, which is annoying. Um, but it kind of ups all of his like abilities. Uh, his weapons carry more ammo, he does more damage. Um, in here, like, his accuracy is better. Here's carry more ammo and damage. Um, it does make him run slower. So I see at the bottom there, slows movement speed. Um, it's not, it's something you have to toggle. Uh, you just turn it on and you can keep it on the rest of the match. So that's really nice because there's no cooldown on it. Multi-frag grenade, I have um, just to have another power. It's just a great grenade that he uses. He shoots it out of his wrist. Um, I have it specced for all damage. And at the end here, instead of the last damage, I put... Because uh, it shoots out three grenades, so I have the last power up to shoot out five grenades to kind of up the spread. So all damage possible and up the spread at the end just to hit more guys. Um, here, the Hawk Missile Launcher is a cool power. It's like a little shoulder-mounted turret that will every once in a while, like, shoot out. And at the end, you can spec it to, like, shoot and hit more guys. But it lowers your shields by 50%. And that is dumb. <laughs> uh, especially, like, if you're playing on gold. That makes it totally useless. The damage that it puts out is not really worth it. Because of the Devastator mode doing so much more weapon damage. You really don't need this extra damage here. Um, plus, I'll explain in a second too. Well, because if you look at this, Devastator Mode is a toggle. It stays on the whole match. The Hawk Missile Launcher, it's a toggle. Stays on the whole match. Grenade, you just use it and it uses them out of your inventory. So he doesn't have any powers that have a cooldown. So, we can have him rocking two really heavy weapons. So today we're gonna to be using the Typhoon. It's an ultra rare assault rifle. It's really awesome, really huge um, magazine, which is only made even more huge because of the Devastator mode that we have. Plus the power up I have on here increases the magazine by another 80%. So we don't wanna like ever have to reload is basically what we're trying to get out of this. Normally I would run this one The um, has the uh, damage and um, armor damage, and then I would usually use this, the stability, because uh, it kind of has a ton of random kick, but I have equipment on in here that um, gives us more stabilization, stabilization module. So I'm using the Warfighter package, ups my assault rifle damage, gives me more grenades, assault rifle lamp, and I'm using drill rounds. I never use these. They give a little bit of armor penetration and help you shoot through objects, which is cool. I'm just using it because who cares? I have like a million of them, so I might as well use them. But back to the powers here. Um, because we're not using the Hawk Missile Launcher, that enables us to get all points in fitness to up our max shields, and in here, all points in weapon damage. Um, I went ahead and went for headshot damage. You can do either or because power damage will make his grenades do more, so that's pretty useful too. And then weapon damage at the end. Um, and then uh, because we don't have to worry about cooldowns, I went ahead and just added on shotgun. I'm using the piranha. I probably won't even switch to it. Um, it's really good, you know, in this situation if we get up close and personal with enemies like a banshee or a brood or something is right up on our grill. Switch to that, help them tear down the, the armor there. But if you look, um, Normally we try to keep the uh, that power recharge speed, that red bar in the middle. Normally I try to keep it like way in the blue because that makes my powers, I'm able to use my powers more. But with this class, since he doesn't have any powers, I'm almost maxed out on my recharge speed. There are weapons that are heavier than the ones that I have on now, but I want to just use these for now. We'll mess around with some other ones some other time. So I think that's it for this guy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in a match and I will meet you guys back so we can kill some shit. Yeah! All right, guys, welcome back. We're getting ready to get into a game here. Uh, there's only three of us, but who cares? <laughs> I feel like that happens almost every time. I got put in a lobby with this kid here who was hosting and, like, sat there for, like, five minutes. 
I don't know why. It would put me in a lobby and then no one else. I don't know. Maybe it's just because there's hardly anybody playing at this hour, but... Seems odd. I'm just happy I didn't get put in a game in progress. Really, I mean, obviously it's way too late for this to make any difference for this game, but... There should be a toggle that you can click in multiplayer games to say, don't put me in a game in progress. Because most of the time, I wouldn't really care, especially with this game because it is co-op. So I know I'm going to be getting points and stuff anyway. But back when I played like Call of Duty and stuff, it put me... Like if we're playing Domination that scores up to 200 points per team. And it like it'll put me in a game where there's 30 seconds left. The other team has 190 points compared to my team's like 50. We have no chance of winning and so I'm going to get a loss. Thanks to that. It's just... It does not make sense. So Devastator mode. Oh, I haven't used this gun in a really long time. It might take me a minute here. Um, but see, like I'm really, really slow. I can't dodge roll. So that's kind of the biggest drawbacks to this class, especially with Devastator mode. But the damage he puts out is just really awesome. And you want to keep as much sustained fire as you can because it does that... Uh, it has a really long reload, and it has that, um... Hi, I'm gonna get grabbed. <laughs> it has that, uh, warm-up. Man, and like, you get caught in a spot like that, there's nothing you can do. We're not off to a great start here. One of our teammates is terrible. I think it's this Vorcha guy. Sucks ass. Alright, we got fourth player. That'll help. So, grenades. Boosh! Have we fought Reapers yet? Or, uh, I should say Collectors? In this? I don't recall. Yeah, I can shoot through all this stuff now. I don't even know where he went. I can kill him. Hey, we melee. Ugh. Yeah. This might not be good. Good here. My teammates are doing nothing for one, and I'm so slow, like I can't run away. <laughs> Maybe I should have done a Cyclonic Modulator. This guy's glitching out. That's the problem. Please don't. Please tell me he's not the host. Yeah, I could have used. Well, hmm. Maybe I, sh I should have used Cyclonic Modulator, but the uh, equipment that makes me run faster would have been nice, too. Yeah, bitch. Maybe I just need to switch my weapons more for things that are appropriate here. And stick to cover, since I can shoot through everything. I see, I, I don't think I've ever used real rounds. So I need to utilize them, definitely. Look at me shooting through all this shit. Where am I getting shot from? Up there? Go ahead, sit behind that cover. I'll shoot right through it, you dick. I'm gonna take out this guy here. Shotgun to the face, to the face! Wow. Shot him everywhere but the face. This On this class, you can't get rid of the missile launcher, which is a bit of a bummer. Some classes, for whatever reason, I think the like, mic kind of depends on what their melee is. Won't let you, uh... Alright. Yeah, those frag grenades, they're not great at range like that, but... 
Um, some classes won't let you get rid of the missile launcher. Yeah, pretty good damage there. We don't even have to reload and we can kill that guy. Go ahead, climb up here. See what happens. Would definitely be nicer if the reload or if um, switching weapons was faster. Because I generally only ever rock one weapon, with very few exceptions like this one. Ah, uh, the recoil is still too much. I can't, I can't keep up with them. I think we found our groove here. What's going on over here? Is there a... Oh, it must be a Scion. Yeah. I was like, how are they taking an hour and a half to kill one enemy? That was, still took a really long time. And that dude, that Vorcha, his flamer attack is like specifically built to shred armor. Boosh! It's not bad. Definitely not bad damage. For certain situations. Alright. Enough of that. Let's get in there. Oh yeah! Fra frag grenade triple! Keep this guy through the wall. Drill rounds are pretty useful. Because I can just hide behind cover like this and just destroy him. Obviously, I'm doing less damage than I would have been uh, if I'm shooting him straight up compared to shooting him through the wall, but still, not bad at all. Don't steal my kill, punk. I like frag grenades. I rarely have been using them. I think in the past, I was specking them out differently. I was doing it like for total like spread AoE damage. And so they just, they don't do that much damage. You hit, you hit more guys that are like in a line, but you don't do as much. And yes, I just saw all those guys I ran by, but I wanted to get through here. This would be really useful with equipment or something that would... There's an equipment, uh, get scanner that lets you see through walls for a little bit. This would really... This, uh, drill rounds would be really useful with something like that. Oh, we love the drone went the other direction. Whoops. No chance! Come here, bitch. Go on, jump down here, see what happens. You're dead! There's another scion over here. I take. Oh, no! Grenades! Ugh, I'm so slow! I can't run or dodge or anything. Yeah, when you're not on cut, when you're not in cover, definitely is a little bit of a chore to control this gun, even with the thing that I have, the stabilizer that I have on. Bad guys? They like to spawn in this room. Yep. For those of you that aren't aware, too, these Praetorians, oh my god! Granted, I had some help from that teammate, but holy crap, I destroyed that Praetorian. Um... Those of you that don't know, when a Praetorian's floating, like that guy was for a second, you can't use powers against them. Because um, they get like a, okay, missile launcher works. 
they get a little bubble around them that makes them immune to powers if you do that. And it lasts for a while. So, just a little public service announcement. It's done. I have good shields, but I don't have that much health, I think, is the problem that I'm coming across. Once I once my shields get taken down, I'm kind of in trouble. Is this another Praetorian? Isn't that three? You can't jump down this, you have to take the ladder, which is annoying. Oh, sorry. Take some assist points on that guy. For a couple of bullets. Double the second place score. What a surprise. <laughs> first, after the first wave, I wasn't in first place. <laughs> it's about the only time. Suck it. Kill everything. Yeah, that flamer is definitely helping with the deeps. Flame, that, this class is planned. Man, the guy gets, he was standing in my way like that whole time. Fortress Soldier class is awesome. That flamer. So useful. Come on, where are you, bitch? I'll take on all these guys by myself. No problem. When they get taken over like that, not only does it give them barriers, but it makes their armor harder to pierce. Uh-oh. Damn it. I hate getting grabbed! Ugh, because enemies can still shoot you while that's happening. You guys gonna make it? What's going on over there? Any more bad guys up here? You got nothing, son. Ugh! Collectors are so fast. Like how they move, how they just move around. Oh man. There you is. Yeah, we're definitely in a groove now. This class is just so dependent on being in cover, and I just don't usually sit in cover like that. I'm a very mobile player. That's why I tend to like the more mobile classes. Kill this guy before he gets to me. See how the Praetorian's floating? So if he goes and like that, if he goes and tries to use Flamer, not only does it not do any damage to him, but it sets off that bubble. Oh, I'm not gonna get the kill. So uh, you can't do any powers against him while the bubble's on, too. Oh, that's no fair. He just got sniped by a Scion. Like I'm going to be. Man, freaking dodge rolling and shit. Get over here, dick. Nah. It's too mobile. More ammo. Oh, what, did it, what just hit me? I hear another Praetorian over here. Yep, right behind me. See this, getting cover, and he can't hit you. La la la, so it's just kind of a game. <laughs> Back and forth. Let's backpedal. And dead. The scions there, they have a little uh the little sack on their shoulder. If you blow that up, it does some extra damage. I'll save you, teammate! Maybe. He runs too fast. <laughs> and I'm way too slow. <laughs> Where's this guy? Shoot him through the wall! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, wave 10 already. We kind of... Feels like we went through this really fast. Uh-oh, I bet they're spawning up here. Yep. Please tell us... Oh, great, we're going right through them. Missile launcher it is. Boosh! What? 
Did that guy just spawn there? How did we not? I see you, bitch. Shooting through the glass. Oh, frame rate. What's going on with my frame rate? Frames did not like trying to shoot through that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> See how fast I can tear this guy down by myself. Well, not by myself anymore, but not bad. Ouch! Nope. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Where is this guy? Where did he just hit me from? What the hell? seeing these uh, collectors of swarm that's on me now when they hit you they take away all of your ability to use powers until that recharge goes but for me I don't have any fucking powers so jokes on you bitch go ahead give me with that I ain't scared of that okay I don't know why I'm going that direction because I can't see shit Can't see anything. See, shoot that sack. Extra damage. Oh, that hurt. That was a bad. That was a bad move. I should wait until my shields recharge, but I, I didn't want him to get my kill stolen. I'm too slow to get there, but they're gonna spawn right around this corner. They're gonna spawn right in that room that's over here. See? <laughs> okay, that was kind of unnecessary, but whatever. Because they're just gonna keep spawning there. <laughs> Shit. Oh, this guy. When he dies, he explodes. So you do not want to be close to him when that happens. See that? Okay. <laughs> I stole the kill from his, uh, from his, uh, missile launcher. That's pretty funny. You got him. Oh god, no, take cover! Oh shit! I'm so fucking slow! Wow, this guy's not afraid to use his missiles. It's fine with me. As long as that doesn't make him get first place. Because that's paramount to cheating. You can't use flamer on this guy, you idiot! Bam! Sure, we don't get flanked. Ouch. Yeah. Definitely wanted to take care of those guys before they killed our teammates. And we're out of ammo. Eat grenades. Yeah, full extraction. Wow, that was a quick one. 19 minutes. I feel like it's usually in like the low 20s. But this is a sort of, I mean, it's not like a small map, but it has lots of lines of sight. So, um, assuming you get lucky with the objective modes, it can definitely be a quicker playing map. Hopefully we keep getting different maps, because there are so many, I mean, there are like 15 maps in this game. So hopefully we keep getting different ones, not the same ones over and over again, just because that'll make it more interesting. Because the whole point of this is, you know, one, to try out my new PVR, and two, for me to have an excuse to play the game, but mostly it is, it's a game that I love that I want to share with you guys, because a lot of people didn't really put any kind of significant amount of time into it, even people that 
played Mass Effect 3 and tried out the multiplayer, just did it a little bit because they kind of had to based upon the uh, main story of the single player game. They didn't play any of the DLC, like all the new characters and the new maps and stuff. They didn't see the new weapons. So that's just as much of a reason for me to do this. And because it's fun. <laughs> but uh, that is the N7 Destroyer Soldier.